guys. So um, I figured I'd uh, show this bike off a little bit. You know, I know that uh, 2020 has been tough for a lot of people. Um, I also know that a lot of people were wanting to come out to the shop this season and were not able to do so. And uh, I thought this would be a great opportunity uh, to basically bring the shop to you. Uh, I, I did a video around the Black Widow uh, last week and I figured let me talk about Build Off 1 uh, a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to do this with each of the bikes that I have. Um, maybe go over a little bit of the history and, uh, and kind of what's important to me about them uh, for those of you who don't know. So this is Build Off 1. Um, this is a bike that we built in a, in a live build scenario against Jesse James at OCC at the Hard Rock in, uh, I believe, 2011, in December of 2011. And I know a lot of you have seen it, but for people who have not, um, it was kind of a big deal at the time. There was a lot of stress uh, between me and my father, and uh, this was going to be the first real apples to apples build. And uh, we knew we had to bring something big. And uh, the concept for this kind of started with 30 inch wheels um, and kind of an aircraft theme. And so we figured the 30 inch wheel size at the time wasn't very common. We started with that and then we built the frame essentially to fit the size of the wheels. That was the, that was the initial, how we got the actual frame and wheel proportion proper. Uh, and from there, um, I knew I just wanted to do everything in copper and aluminum. Uh, it's P51 Mustang inspired, um, but it became its own thing pretty quickly uh, once we started doing all these round hammer rivets and all the copper. Um, it got a little bit, it's got the aviation feel, but it also got a little bit, uh, I don't know, it looks like a knight's armor. I mean, it has kind of a cool feel like that. It's an oversized bike, as you can see when I stand here. This is a big hulk uh, of a motorcycle. Even when I sit on it, it's not maybe as bad, but, you know, you can see this is like an 8-up chopper, but it doesn't look like it. It has more of a pro street feel. It's just that this bike is 30% oversized from what you would normally do. Um, in any event, I'll just talk a little bit about the creative single-sided front and uh, rear sections. We got a front end that's single-sided, which is very unusual. And we also have the rear section that's single-sided swing arm. Um, again, everything's copper and aluminum. The frame is steel, but we nickel plated it and brushed it. Um, and I'll tell you, this was a real team effort. Um, we had the whole team on this one. It was uh, myself and Brendan. Uh, Vinny, Cody, uh, we just we put all hands on deck on this on this build, and it, there was a lot of pressure behind it, but we knew we had to knock it out of the park. I think this tank took me and Brendan two weeks just to build this tank, and the exhaust does come up into the gas tank, and it does come out the sides. We even have the frame holds oil. You can see the oil lines coming down. Um, it also holds skywriting fluid so that when it when it heats up, the fluid goes into the exhaust and it just blows out each side, which actually ended up working out uh, pretty well for us. But um, overall, you see the aesthetic. Uh, you can't see this side of the bike, but I'm going to pan around. Um, the reason why we did single sided on this bike front and rear is because of these wood prop wheels. I wanted it to, there's aluminum underneath the wood uh, for structural integrity, but I really wanted it to give that propeller look. And we got nose cones on each side over here. Um, and the single sided aspect of it really frees up the wheel to be completely open, just the way you would see the front of an airplane or prop. And uh, again, I couldn't be more proud of this motorcycle. We did take first place. Um, like I said, there was a bunch of episodes leading up to it. It was a lot of pressure. It was a one hour live special at the Hard Rock in Vegas on Discovery Channel. And uh, we, we didn't leave anything to chance when we built this one. It's probably the most unique bike we've ever built. And it certainly took the most effort because there's no paint. You know, when you, everything's exposed on this bike. It's all copper and aluminum. You can't cheat. You can't bang stuff together and just put bodywork over it. Um, 
it's as honest as a bike can be. Uh, and I'm very proud of it. And I'm especially proud of the team that we had and how we came together uh, to accomplish such an amazing work of art. Um, and who knows, maybe in the future we'll get to do it again. <laughs>